So this video is about the body controls tool that I created for MetaHumans. This allows you to animate MetaHumans in Maya. This tool is available on my website at madguru.com, as well as a few other platforms you can find linked in the description of the video. So in this example, I'm going to start with a character, a custom character I created in MetaPipe. You can start with a character that comes directly from Bridge, and then you can just click this button directly. The characters that are coming from MetaPipe, as far as I've seen, they're rotated a little bit differently than the ones from Bridge. So in order to make a match what you get from Bridge, I'm just going to click this utility first, which rotates the character to match the output you get from Bridge. Next is just a single button click. And we're going to get body controls set up for this character, and we'll end up with a file that is like native Maya orientation. So for the head and neck, we have some basic FK controls. Same for the spine. And the limbs have FK and IK controls. So I can switch between FK and IK using these crosses. So the ones for the legs are at the hips. The ones for the arms are at the shoulders. So I can switch. And then I have an IK arm with a pull vector. And now with that pull vector, I can either have that pull vector follow the world, or I can have it follow the hand. Now I can move this arm around, and you can see that the pull vector follows. But if I want independent control, then I can change back to uh, following the world. And then, I also have uh, IKFK. So let's say I like this pose for the arm in IK, but I would like to have that same pose on the FK arm. So I've just switched to FK, select one of the controls for the FK arm, and click this IKFK match button once. So now the pose matches the IK arm. And so we have similar controls for the legs. The legs also have these foot controls. So I can do foot roll. And there is space switching between the following the foot and the world for the pull vector. And on the IK hand, we also have space switching where we can have the hand follow different parts of the body. So let's say I take this hand and I put it up by the head. Okay, and then I can adjust the pull vector. And then can change the follow option here to follow the head so that when I rotate the head, the hand will follow the head. In addition to that, we have other options. We can have that same hand follow the chest, follow the body, or go back to just following the world. And so when we're following the world, then the hand is not going to rotate with the head anymore. And so similar to the way that I matched the IKFK previously, I can also match the IK back to the FK. So I just select one of the controls for the IK and click on IKFK match. And it went back to the default pose, which is how the FK arm is posed currently. Another thing you can do with the IKFK match which I find useful when I'm working with motion capture data or like a whole um, shot, is if I double click, it'll actually match on every single frame. And so this is a good way if, let's say, you have motion capture data and it's all FK arm and leg movement, but you also want to key your IK to match so that you can do further editing, then you can just double click it'll cycle through and, and key all of them to match. 
So now I'm going to show you some of the other utilities that come with this tool. So some of it's just basic posing stuff. So I can go back into like FK here. And with one part, any part selected so that I can get the namespace, if there's a namespace on the character, I can click once to zero out the character pose and click twice to get a sort of cloth T pose. So this is something that I would use in Marvelous Designer and um, create clothing around the character. I also have another button to put the character into a human IK pose. And in addition to that, so let's zero the character back out. And if we want to skin clothing, then it's really important to select the right joints to skin to. So let me display these joints so that we can see this better. So to make that easier, I have this tool right here. And so you can see there's a little shirt and a shoe. So if you single click, you'll get the joints for skinning to clothing. And if you double click, you'll get the joints selected for skinning to shoes. And so you can use this tool and then control select the geometry for the clothing and then create your skin cluster that way. This button here simply deletes the rig and gets you kind of back to what your default character was before creating the body control rig. And here's something new that I recently added is the option to save metahuman poses. So currently this works with hands and faces. So let's give it a try. So let's say I want to take these controls. Now I can individually rotate each finger joint, or I can use this finger control to do like curling, spreading, and quickly create poses, which I can then further refine by actually selecting a control and rotating it further. Well, let's say, for example, that I want to save this hand pose. And I want to save that as, I'll give it a name. So we'll call it fist. I already have a pose called fist. And it's just asking me if I want to overwrite it. I'll go ahead and overwrite it. But you can save a library of poses this way. Similarly, you can also save face poses. So all of these facial controls can be manipulated. So let's say you know I want to save this as a sneer. So I pose the character, and I have the, at least one control selected so that I can get the namespace, if there is one. And then I'll click on Save, Face, and I'll call this Sneer. So the second tool here is for loading those hand and face poses onto your character. So once again, you're going to select a part of the character so that we know which character to apply this to. And all of these poses are saved in a JSON file that is saved in your script directory. So right now we have a fist. And so let's say I wanted to make this hand into a neutral pose. I can click that. I can click fist again to make it into a fist. So by default, we are applying this to the left hand. But what if I wanted to apply it to the right hand? So I just click on mirror, and then I could make a fist out of the right hand. I could set it back to neutral. So what the script does is like you can save a pose on a right hand but it's going to save the data for the left hand. So that pose, so for example, if I take this control and just spread the fingers apart, let's just take a look at that. Say we have this finger spread pose, and we'll save it as a hand pose. We'll just call it spread. So now we have the spread pose. Now, if I load, I can see that now there's a hand spread pose. And so if I click on hand spread, it's actually applying it to the left hand. 
So if I want to apply it to the right hand, then I'll click on mirror. Now I'll apply the fist. And so it's as easy as that. Now for the face, I took a whole bunch of facial poses that are available for MetaHumans in Unreal Engine, and I exported them using my um, my face animation export tool, which is a separate tool. I'll go over in a different video. But with that, I can very easily and quickly change the facial expressions on the character. And the nice thing is I can you know, add an animation layer and make these changes and key them on that layer. So if I have a performance, maybe I have some motion capture data that I want to push a bit further with some of these spatial expressions. And so I can do that by adding the, these spatial expressions on top as a, another layer. And then I can mix it however much I want. So those are a few new tools. Now another thing that happens often is, let's say you have a character that has a strange scale or strange proportions. So sometimes the default sizes of the controls aren't, a, aren't the best fit for your character. So I added this simple little tool that allows you to, after the fact, after the rig has been built, change the size of these controls. So let's say this control, I want it to be half the size. So there's an example here. It says, you know, put in 0.5 for 50% of the size or put in 2 for 200% of the size. So say I want it to be half, right? So I'm going to put 0.5, click OK, and there we go. Now the shoulder control is half the size that it was. Click it again and make it double the size, go back to what it was do that for any of these controls that are nerves curves. I can make it one third the size by typing in 0.3 and so on. So that's a brief overview of the body controls and IKFK match and some of the MetaHuman utilities that come with it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.